Hi everyone, thanks once again for tuning in to Smash Factor TV. If you're someone that struggles with a pull, today's video is absolutely ideal for you because we're going to have a look at what causes a pulled golf shot, what a pulled golf shot is and how to correct it. Let's go and have a look at how to get you improved with some more game-changing golf coaching. Hi everyone and thanks once again for tuning in to Smash Factor TV. My name's Natalie Adams. So with today's video tip we're going to have a look at what causes pulled golf shots and what to do about them and how to fix them. So a pulled golf shot is a shot that just goes straight left of your target. So um, if we're having a look out here we've got um, down at the bottom of the practice ground there there's two very tall trees so if I'm hitting this golf ball at the one on the right and the uh, blue shaft of my driver there is pointing directly at that for us, so that's the target line, um, a pulled shot's going to finish on the left and it's just going to go straight left. Now, what's causing that? Uh, two things, club face and the direction you're swinging in. So just to show you club face, I'm just going to pop this alignment tool onto uh, the uh, club there. And what's happening is that when you're coming in to hit, the club face is actually aiming to the left of that target. Now, aiming to the left of the target is just part of it because the club head is swinging to the left of the target as well. So the club head it's coming in from the outside of that target line, the far side from, the one, from where you're stood. And then you're swinging in the same direction as that club face is pointing. And the ball's just going to get hit straight, straight left. So if I just put another shaft in here, just to illustrate that, ideally we want the club head to be traveling down the blue line as it connects with the ball. Um, but if you're hitting a pull, you've got the club head traveling more down that gold uh, shaft in that direction and you've got the club face in line with that as you're going through and that will just hit a straight golf shot but the golf shot's going to go left of target. So what we need to do, we need to stop you swinging from the outside of that target line to the inside uh, and we need to alter the, the uh, club face position as well. So easiest way to help you uh, with that swing is we could block uh, the area that the gold shaft is on. So if we put two head covers in and we put one into this area here and then one into this area here, if you hit the head covers then you know that you've got that out to in path that we're trying to get rid of. So let me put the head covers in and then we'll talk about what we're going to do with that club face. And please remember to hit that subscribe button if you're enjoying the video and that you feel the channel helps you improve your golf. Uh, when you're next out on that course, we release two videos every week and they're all geared up to help you get more from your golf. Okay, so we're going to put uh, one head cover into this area and we're going to put the other head cover into this area here. So we're just blocking the outside of the target line as we're approaching the ball and we're blocking the inside of the target line um, just as we've gone through. Because what we're trying to create here is a straighter club path. So that just means the direction that the club head is traveling in with the target. So hitting that pull, what would happen is we'd get to the top, we'd see the club head going onto the outside of that target line, you would hit this head cover, then the ball, then the inside head cover there. And with the club face pointing that way, the ball's gonna go that way. So what we wanna do here is we want to, uh, first of all, make sure we've got the club face aiming at the target. We don't want the club face rotated inwards so that it's aiming to the left because that's again gonna promote the shot to go left. So ensure that you have the club face aiming at the target. You can do that with an alignment tool or if you just got a piece of blue tack, put it onto the club face and then stuck a very long T out just at a right angle from that. It will show you where that club face is aiming for you. So just make sure we've got that aiming at the target rather than left of it. 
We're now going to make sure that we get uh, a nice neutral grip here. We don't want a strong grip and a strong grip would see left hand rotated very much over to the right and the right hand rotated to the right and more under the handle. Again, I'll put a link in the video here to help you achieve that neutral uh, grip because that will help you deliver that club face back in in a square position if you've got it started in that square position. If you've got your hands rotated more to the right with that strong grip, when you come in, it's going to promote you to turn that club face to the left. And again, that's not going to help you if you've got a pull. So we want that nice neutral grip, just set up athletic posture. And the big thing here now is that when we swing through, we want to make sure that when we get to the top here, that we're not making this over the top movement here which primarily, primarily will be caused from you being out of sequence on your downswing. So you're turning your upper body before your lower body. And what we'd see better ball strikers and better players doing is the other way around. So again, I'll put a link in the video here to help you with that. If you are somebody that is just slightly out of sequence with their movement, you should be moving pressure towards the target and into the left side with the lower body rotating first and then the upper body rotating as you go through impact rather than the upper body rotating right from the top. So this is a great feedback drill. It will give us plenty of information um, as to if we've uh, made the right movement through. So basically, if we make sure that as we're approaching the ball, we're inside this first head cover here, and then we swing through and feel like we're on the outside of this second head cover on the left of the ball, that will give us a much better um, club path. So the head will be traveling on a straighter line towards the target. And if we've got the club face pointing that way, we're gonna hit a much straighter golf shot. Okay, so work on that on the range. If you do find you're hitting the head covers to start with, take a few practice swings before you try and hit the ball. Just get used to the feeling. Maybe just hit some half shots so that you can control that club head going through. As you're getting better at it, just pull the head covers in slightly tighter to the target line. Again, you don't want to start with them too close to the target line. So I would say initially, if you put a club down so it's pointing to your target we want to see uh, maybe sort of three inches um, that side of the uh, target line with the head cover on the right three inches this side for the head cover on the left and then just gradually push those closer into the target line as you get more control over that club head and the direction that you're swinging it in but that'll certainly help you improve your shots you'll stop hitting that pull which just goes straight to the left of target and you'll find that you start to hit a lot more shots directly at the target it's another game-changing golf tip